Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Nice to see Hello. you. Hello, teacher. Hi, nice to see you as well. How are you? Uh, fine. Very well. Orlando, Hilton, where have you been? Good evening, everyone. Everybody. Hi. Hello. <laughs> hello, 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 everybody. Hi, welcome. What are we drinking? Thank you. Herbert in Orlando, what are you drinking? I don't hear I'm you. I'm just having some coffee. Coffee? Orlando, what are you having? Otto, coffee. Orlando? Coffee, too. Yeah, so you can stay away. No, it's not coffee. Okay. <laughs> we don't know what Orlando is having right now. He doesn't want to tell us. <laughs> I um, some sort of a cappuccino, I think, of chocolate, milk, and coffee. Cold one. Um, yep. Okay. Yes, I, I had a tea today because we were kind of celebrating the Mother's Day lately. So it's just some coffee that I had on my cup. Oh, okay, great. But I just finished the cake, so no more cake. <laughs> Yeah, feel free to have coffee during class if you want, guys. It's all right. As long as you stay, uh, as you stay awake and you participate, that's cool. All right. Welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's the last class of the week, and next week is the last one. And we're finished, and that's it. Time went by so fast, didn't it? Okay. Let's all access the platform, please including myself as I was yeah hold on everybody please access the platform we're gonna go to section four if I'm not wrong and we'll continue from there we were looking at the difference between present perfect and past simple this is not loading One second, please. I want us to do an exercise before we begin. Who can tell me what the difference between past simple and present perfect is? The past simple is something that you have done that is finished. And when we're talking about present, uh, the other one, right? Uh, present perfect, right? Yeah, so perfect, if we're talking yeah. about if we're talking about present perfect, I think it's more like things that I have done in the past and I haven't finished, such as my career. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you. Everybody mute your microphone, please. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so the difference okay. between the two of them. Okay. Present perfect is something that hasn't finished but not only that right first of all it's something that hasn't finished okay uh it also uh, it puts emphasis this on the result okay something that recently happened i'm talking about present perfect only okay something that recently happened and also it's not it's not time specific okay so this is when we're gonna use present perfect also this is not in any book in the world but i always say that we're gonna use present perfect when you have chances of the situation happening chances of it occurring for example guys you cannot Tell me I didn't travel. Look at this sentence, I didn't travel. This is incorrect, and you know why? Because you still have chances of traveling in the future, right? So chances of happening in the future. If there are chances of something happening in the future, you have to use present perfect, okay? You cannot tell me, teacher, I didn't study. No estudié. Como que si, ah, se van a morir. No, yo no estudié, teacher. No, you still have chances of studying in the future, so you should use present perfect, not the past. Okay. Or is that clear? 
This is very important, okay? Now, past simple, what are the differences with past simple? Past simple would be something that already finished, right? Something that has no chances of happening in the future, or at least you think. Okay, so we put the, um, it, it happened, it is time specific. So you have to be, uh, you have to specify specific. You have to specify yesterday, last night, in 2011, and so on. Okay. And that's about it. That is the difference. Any questions about this? Question? And on top of that, guys, we use present perfect every day when we speak in Spanish. So you're kind of familiarized with this structure. You know what? The only thing we don't use present perfect for in Spanish, in Salvadorian Spanish, <laughs> It's for recently finished activities. We don't use it for that. We use present perfect, I mean, past simple for that. We say, ya terminé, right, de comer. But in, in Spain, in Spain, you would say, he comido, if something recently happened, like five minutes ago. If you notice, they use it like that. So that's the only difference, but this is what we use every day. Uh, questions about the differences, or are you ready to practice? Ready? Okay, great. Let's practice then. I'm going to show you some options here. Let's play basketball. Have you played this game? Yeah. No, oh, but this yeah. one is specific. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What yes. game have you played? Let's talk. Okay. Um, Let's see. What is the correct option? Who wants to try it? I'll finish it, I'll finish it. What is the right answer? He has finished. 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 Finish. Yes, finish. the second one. That's very good. Why? Because the result is more important and there is no time reference. Very good. Next. We win. We, we win. win. Yeah. yeah. Win. Simple. 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 Next. So. I saw. I saw. I saw. 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 Oh. Saw. Saw. Let me see. Saw. Yes, yesterday. Awesome. Right. Next. She has. What do you has, think? Eight. She has. Eight. She has. She has. Eight. Eight. She has. Eight. She has. 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 Number one. Bo has Bo lived. Has, Bo yes. Has lived. Has lived. Mm -hmm. Oh, has left. Has left. Okay, let me try that. Has left. Left. Guys, it says five minutes, minutes ago. ago. Has five lived. minutes ago. So that is past. Does it say since? And it doesn't say for. It says ago. Ago is for the past. So Bob left. No, Bob left. Left five minutes ago because five minutes ago is past. All right. Very good. Two more. My son. 
Has arrived. It's a question, first of all. Did Mike? Did Did Mike? Did Did Okay, but yet, guys, listen to this. Yet is a un. Do you think that that is unfinished or finished? Unfinished. unfinished. No, finished. So, uh -huh. so are we going to use present perfect or past? The last, the last one. one. The last, the last one. one. Yes, it is the last one. Very good. Okay, so yet, yet you're going to use it for a negative and for questions, okay, with the present perfect. And one more and we're going to finish here. So I... Number two, I have been on holiday since yes. Friday. Last night we learned that we use since with present yes. perfect, right? I've been on holiday. Yes. Yay! Game over, game, game over. Game over. <laughs> no, but you did well. Applause for everyone. Awesome. Okay. Well done. <laughs> we only made one mistake, I think. <laughs> All right, let's continue. So let's access the platform. Here we are. Section. Let me see if it's working now. We finished the, the midterm and now we're going on section five, right? Hold it down. Here it is. Simple past versus present perfect. So go to section 4.1. Watch this. Do we practice this dialogue? No, right? We're gonna practice this dialogue first. If you notice, you can see the, um, you can see present perfect and past simple here. You can listen to it. Listen and practice. Listen. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay. Uh, where can you see present perfect in this dialogue? Let's identify it. Have you ever eaten snails? Very good. Um, where else? Is that the only one? Uh -huh. Have you decided on a appetizer yet? Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Okay, what else? I had them there just last, last week, but it's in present, present perfect. It's not a question, it's just like she's affirming she had them. It's stating. No, but that is past simple, if I'm not wrong. Now, let's identify past simple. Guys, you can check WhatsApp. I'm sending you this dialogue on WhatsApp because we can barely see it here, but I found it. Okay, check WhatsApp and I sent you that dialogue. Where can you see past simple? Uh, in the form of a question, statement, or negative? Did you like them? That is past. Right, what else? I have them. Have you decided? Have you decided? It's present perfect. 
They were delicious. The past or present perfect. Past. They were delicious. It's past. Okay, guys, let's practice the dialogue. We're going to do it in pairs, okay? Um, accept the invitation, please. Let's do it. Practice the dialogue and take turns. Here we go. Check what's up, by the way. It's on what's up. Lord, accept invitation, please. Milton, Miguel. Hi. Hi. Lord, can you accept invitation, please? Le di clip, Miss, pero no, no, no me llevó al grupo, no sé por qué. Hmm. Maybe it's your internet, I don't know. Hold on. Carla, did you get it? Hold on, look. Okay, ahí se nos ve otra vez. Hi, Herbert, what happened? Hello, uh, I didn't have a partner in my room, so I quit. But when I quit, I closed soon. <laughs> so I okay, just well, reopened it. Andrea and Eunice are here. You can practice with them and answer the questions. All right. Okay. Let me... Yes, I have. Katie. Yes, I have. I have the hair just like weekend. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Have you, decide, have you decided on an appetizer? Appetizer. Have you decided when you on finish, appetizer? Answer yes. the questions, okay? Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I think so. I don't think so. I don't think. I so. think. I think. I don't no, think I don't so. think. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yes. Sorry, guys. When you finish, answer the questions, okay, on the platform. Okay. Miguel and Jose, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, when you finish, I need you to access the platform and answer the question, okay? The free brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It's so scary. Okay. Okay, now answer the question from the platform, please, about the dialogue. I, excuse me, teacher? Answer the questions on the platform about the dialogue. Okay. Hi, did you finish practicing? Yes, we did. Did you answer the question? Which questions? On the platform about the dialogue. There is a lot of questions there. Ah, uh, no. Yes, it says has Not to together. Nails, what is the I think. Yes, can somebody share screen and maybe answer that together? So okay. Thank you. Um, has Kate Here we are. Okay, guys, um, did you finish answering the questions about the dialogue? Yeah. Yes, you finished? Oh, did you get all no, the answers no, right? No, no, no. I finished. Yes. I know, Gabriel, I know. <laughs> I know. But everyone else, did you finish the questions? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, yes, five. Yes, teacher, yes, I, I finished. I, I had finished then. Okay, great, awesome. Very good, so we can move on then. Uh, we're gonna get into a new topic. Let me see. Santiago Vinicio. Can you read the objective, please? What? Okay. Me. I'll, read I'll read it. Please. Now? Okay, le lesson objectives. Uh, sequence of verbs are used to help describe a progression of events often uses of events, events of events mm -hmm. often uses in recipes or instructions sequence sequence of verbs such as first then next after that and finally contain information about the order of actions and create natural trans transitions in waiting in this lesson from English. Teachers, your science practice describing recipes in English recipes. using recipes in English using sequence of verbs. Sequence. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Okay, very good. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna learn sequence adverbs. 
I need you to please pay attention and take notes because after the video, as always, we're going to practice, okay? Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter and finally fry the bread until it's brown on both sides and what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explained in this case a food recipe we use sequence adverbs to do this and so as I mentioned we use first we use then we use next we use after that and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together, then toast the slices of bread, then spread the mixture on the toast, then put the sandwich in a pan with butter, then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain. And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then, next, and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, 
start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together next toast the slices of bread after that so they could be interchangeable there's no rule that says that uh, then it needs to come after first you can use those three interchangeably and the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe and I want you to write down okay that is not going to be the structure I mean this is not the exercise we're going to do we will make a different one sorry we were we will do a different exercise uh, what are the sequence adverbs, guys? We looked into five of them. What are they? First. Yes, first. What else? And then next. Mm -hmm. Next. After after that, after that, that, and finally. After finally. 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 Thank you. Okay. And can I change the order of them? Uh, Hold on, guys. After that. Uh -huh, after uh, that, when I'm muting everyone. I'm going to ask one person in specific so that it doesn't get too noisy, okay? So mute the microphone, please. All right. Let me ask uh, Jose Hernandez. Can I change the order of first? Uh, you should use first at the beginning of the sentence then finally at the end of the sentence the yes. other ones you can uh, scramble them yes you can change the order for them you can scramble as you them. wish can i repeat them if i need more okay can i reuse them yes i can i guess there should be more no, you know what? We don't have many more. What you can do, uh, I'm going to mute your microphone, Jose, please. Thank you. Uh, but thank you. That was right. Um, after that, next, and then we can recycle them, all right? We can reuse them. We don't have those many more. So you can use them as many times as you wish in the order that you want, all right? And then, uh, for example, we're going to try this. Easy. We're going to say how to make pupusas, okay? Who knows how to make pupusas? Here's what I want to emphasize. You need to use the imperative form, okay? Who remembers what the imperative is? How do you form the imperative? Let me see. Carla, do you know how to form the imperative? No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me see. Mm. Orlando, do you know how to form the imperative? Ramiro? Nope, I will take that as a no then. Ramiro, if you can, please. So I, I haven't heard you participating. Please unmute the microphone or turn the camera on. I haven't seen you. Okay, well guys, the imperative form is very simple. Let me ask you this. I need some verbs. Tell me some verbs. Cooking verbs, especially. Give me some cooking verbs. For example, Stir, ah, boil. bread. What else? Boil. Boil. Uh huh. Cook. Butter. Butter. What else? Fry. 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 Uh huh. Shake. Shake. Mash. Eat. Peel. Put. Mash. Peel. Very good. Okay. okay. Awesome. Thank you. That's going to be enough. All right. So, look, this is the imperative already. It's already conjugated. Okay. So, you're going to say, for example, first, a fry some beans. For example, you see, this is the imperative form. It's the verb. The imperative is simply the verb, guys. That's it. And you use it to give instructions. All right? So simple as that. First, fry some beans. What else? If I'm trying to make pupusas, then? Then? Mix with cheese. 
Put cheese in masa. <laughs> then, um, I don't know. Then get some then, dough. Get the dough uh -huh. What else? No, hold on. Maybe then put the beans and the cheese or some cheese because we haven't mentioned it before inside the dough. Or form a bowl of dough. Well, you know what I'm going to say. I don't know, guys. It's okay. So now, this is the activity. The thing is, this is the important thing. Use the sequence adverb, all right, first, and then use the verb. Make, then, boil. After that, mix. So this is the structure I want you to use. Sequence adverb, comma, verb, imperative. Sequence, imperative. Sequence, imperative, okay? And the exercise right now is going to be how to make a cup of coffee. I want you to write, this time I need you to write on your notebook, everyone, not only one member of the team, but everyone, please write how to make a cup of coffee and then how to make a maruchan, okay? This is what I would like you to do. At the end, I'm gonna have some people present it to the class, okay? Ready? Let's do that. Ready. Awesome. And we're gonna do that in different groups. Okay. Yeah, ready. Okay, accept the invitation, please. Everyone accept the invitation, please. Catherine and Ramiro, are you there? Catherine, Ramiro. Too hot. We take the water and put oh, into sorry. the... <laughs> Follow the structure, please. Sequence adverb and then the verb. So first, put the water. First. No subject. First, put the water or heat the water. Uh huh. First, uh -huh. heat the water. Yes. Heat the water and then yes. we wait until the water boiling. And then wait. Until the Wait. water boils. Yeah, try not to use the subject, no subject, only the verb. Okay. I have to say that uh, we need to clean the, the plancha <laughs> with uh, <laughs> the plancha. Uh, some with, with some oil or uh, I don't know how to say manteca. Manteca <laughs> with uh, body. Yeah. Water. Okay. Water. Water? Yeah. Water, okay. Uh, with, with some oil or water. Uh, in order to avoid that, uh, that gets get uh, sticked to the, uh, I have to say something. <laughs> so uh, go ahead con, <laughs> with, with the number two floor, please. Okay, mm, uh, next. Write them down, please. Uh, Go ahead. Excuse me? Write them down. Okay. Mm. 
Are you guys done? Uh, no, no. We have, uh, we're making the our recipe one each other. He's making the coffee one, and I'm making the one which is for the instant soup. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay, so basically is that, uh -huh, basically is that uh, we have to use these sequences, right? First, then after that. And finally, yeah? Finally, okay. You finished both of them? We are finished, yeah? Yes. The coffee and Marchand, both? Yeah? Yes. And did you write them? Yes. Write <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. one down at least, please, because people are still working on that. Okay, take a breath, then, then take a ham with may. I don't remember. Uh, mayonnaise. May I'm sorry? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Okay, mayonnaise. Uh, next, you have to to put the, the ham in on the bread with the mayonnaise and some lettuce. Lettuce. I don't remember lettuce. Lettuce. Yeah, it's okay. Lettuce. Okay. Tomatoes. Is Ramiro helping you? I think he had a, he has a problem with his microphone. Mm, okay, I'm gonna ask him. Are you finished already? Very good. So, how to make, hey, you didn't make that maruchan I sent you, right? Not like that. First, <laughs> put the maruchan, keep the maruchan. In the kitchen. <laughs> In the stove. <laughs> On the stove. <laughs> how to make a maruchan. Volunteers who can give me instructions quickly. Okay, me, um, the, the first, you, Put uh, water, some kind of water to boiling. Okay, and, sorry, uh, hold on, guys. Let's try not to say you put, okay? You can say it, but I would like you to use the, uh, the imperative form. Okay. Because imperative is used to give instruction and commands, okay? So you first, in the food, first, food. first, boil water, okay? Boil water. Then, in the end, um, open the top of the of the king. Open the soup. The soup lid. lid. It's called the lid. Uh huh. Uh, after that, after that, drop the water in the uh, pour water. Water into the cup. Pour water into the cup. Okay. Water in the cup. And finally, mm -hmm. finally, you start to to mm -hmm. eat it with the, the fork. <laughs> Maybe if I, mm, hold on. Maybe we're missing one step here. Next. Yeah, next. Uh, next. next. There. You mix, mix in it. There. You, mix you, you don't it. mix it. You don't mix no. it like this. You stir. No. Okay. Stir you the soup. stir finally. the soup. And finally, Eat it. Enjoy. Eat enjoy. It. Enjoy. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Mr. Oh, you put chili. Or oh, lemon. Lemon. Okay. Add mm. lemon and hot sauce lemon and to hot taste. Sauce. Enjoy it. Yes. Be ready to get a stomach ache. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, who wants to help me with um coffee? Cup of coffee. May I? Go ahead. First, heat the water, then... Heat some water, wait. some water in this case. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Then wait until the water boil. Next, the coffee, uh, the coffee beans into the French press. After that, put the water into the container. Finally, we wait for five minutes until we serve the coffee. Hold on, I got lost at coffee French press, sorry. <laughs> You're so specific. Uh -huh. Very fast. <laughs> I'll try to keep up with you. Da, 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 my kids. <laughs> so first, then next, after that. And finally. Sorry, I missed one step, I think. We have to, to ask okay. to Alvaro if, if he drinks after the coffee that, faster than like, that he prefers. <laughs> after that. Put the water into the container. Uh, guys, for for liquids, you're not gonna use put. You're gonna use pour. Okay, pour. Ver, oh. Vertir. I think it is in Spanish. Vertir, right? Or verter. I, I always forget. But it's pour. Okay. Oh. Pour water into a cup, or I don't know where. And finally, we wait for five minutes. Wait. Wait for finally, five wait. minutes. Mm -hmm until we serve the coffee ah before before serving the before coffee before serving the coffee okay huh i think you're missing some steps so you could have used uh, for example then instead of finally and then finally then wait for 5 minutes finally add sugar or coffee creamer taste you can repeat this you don't necessarily need to write five steps they can be more than that they can be 20 it's okay. okay all right is this topic clear guys very fancy yes. Alvaro, put it in the coffee french yes <laughs> it sounds like delicious coffee to me all right awesome great job well done uh, let me see, do we have time for one exercise? Yes, we do. We're going to do this together and finish with this. Okay. Number one, I think you're going to help me. Milton. Milton, number one. Milton. My to pop. Depend gently every few seconds. Hello, do you hear me? Hello. Yes, Milton. Hello. What's the answer? Okay. Um, popcorn. Popcorn. Okay, that could be one. Um, Ricardo. What Kamal is this? Yum. Mm. Creo que la, la one, la primero. Number one. one. Next, out cilantro. Mm. This is the last step. Ah, uh, last, so last. Finally, last right? One. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and hot sauce. A little salt, pepper, and hot sauce. Not paper, <laughs> pepper. Paper. Great. Next one, Miguel Campos. Three. Mm. Which cuts in in half. Cut it in half. Half. You can pronounce that L. Mm. We're good. Mm. Four. Half. Mm. Fernando. Fernando. Yes. I can't hear Fernando, so uh, Catherine, can you help me, please? Yes, teacher. Which sequences are are not inter interchangeable? Interchangeable. Jable. Interchangeable. Interchangeable. Finally. And what else? There's one more. Finally. And one more. 
So first, mm. first, first, yes, very good. And that's about it. Let's check. Excellent. Excellent. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Alrighty, questions. Do. No questions? No. Okay. No question, teacher. Guys, if you still have questions about past simple and present perfect, I'm going to send you some videos or information, also some um, exercises. If we have time next week, we're going to work on the exercises, teacher. okay? Otherwise, I'm going to send them to you because we need to change topics, and I think that that is not... 100% clear, all right? So we'll see. Go ahead, Vinicio. Yeah, teacher, uh, the, the last one I don't I don't hear exactly uh, was what the, which, which the sentences, uh, adverbs are not interchangeable. Finally and first. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna send you an exercise for you to decide whether it is present perfect or past Simple. That's going to be your additional homework. If we have time, we will review that next week. If we don't have time, you will have to study on your own. Okay, it will depend. Anything else? I'm not the chair. Okay. okay. Well, enjoy the okay. weekend. I hope you have fun. Okay. And see you on Monday. See you Monday. See you Monday. See you Bye. Monday. Bye. 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 Have a Bye. good weekend. Nice. Bye, Kishore. Have a good weekend.